by um, Raymond LaFontaine, captain uh, of uh, Basilea. Today is August 2011, the 17th day of the month, the third day of the full moon. It's a waning moon now, and uh, I'm about 60 miles out from Phuket in Thailand on my way to Sumatra, Indonesia, to the very uh, of Indonesia, Bandar Chai, where uh, hopefully I can show you some amazing footage of a beautiful place, a beautiful surf, an amazing country, and what it's like to live on board a yacht solo. So I hope you enjoy it. Downstairs, as we're at the moment, running the engine because there's no wind and uh, pushing current. We've got another 24 hours before we make land. I'll show you some sailing tonight. I'll mount this camera on the top of my helmet so uh, you'll be with me uh, on deck uh, throughout the course. Let's see if they'll join us. Come on dolphins. They're a very small one so Coming up to the shipping lanes. Beautiful. There they go. Oh, real. That's just lifted my spirit so high. Unbelievable. Hey, guys. <laughs> I've had a really hard time. They're beautiful. Hey, guys. Thank you. Just got the tea on. And uh, just noticed the barometer's dropped, which I don't know what that means yet. But uh, you can see the sun getting close to the horizon. It certainly doesn't look, I don't know. Those clouds over there near the sun worry me a bit. Um, but we'll see what color she brings. But otherwise a very, very silky. Can't even see the horizon. Just gone through some, uh, they're called ebb tides, uh, like current that, water that runs down deep, they slow me down. And I've got to start keeping an eye for ships soon. See me, um, those waves are caused by the, I think, the current from the Pacific Ocean running into the Indian Ocean against a prevailing swell. Makes it very close together, the wave crests, and when Basilea hits the third one, she, she slows down because she loses the momentum. It's really frustrating, and um, the boat's very bumpy. Uh, nothing's still like it's been, so, yeah. It's driving me a bit crazy, it's sort of, don't feel like doing anything because it's hard work on your feet trying to balance. You keep standing still and get hit and knocked. And, uh, uh, if I can do it, cooking I can do, but I'm not really hungry, so I mixed uh, myself a scotch and a coke. And I'm just trying to relax, go with it. I'm only 21, well, 17 miles out from the coast of Sumatra. It's been a pretty good trip. I've got to admit though, I'm struggling to be uh, on my own. I'm used to having my uh, my girl Jenny with me and at this time we've got cocktails out on the deck and we're dancing. We're enjoying each other's company. Anyway, I'll be home, I'll be in Main Archway in another five hours. Check it out.
right side. I can see uh, Sumatra. She's seven mile away. Indonesia. Beautiful place. There's Bethlehem and Glover out there on the bar in the in the bay. Rachel's in the back with the Mara, the Muslim woman. Women. It's our driver. got covered by a 30 foot wave. Hard to imagine. So we're just gonna get we're just gonna get some solar, um, which is diesel, um, a radiator cap, um, and the girls are doing a bit of shopping and going to the uh, Tsunami Museum 
and uh, I'll go back and fix Vasile's bilge pump because it failed last night and uh, I had water in the bottom of the boat pissing in so it's been a messy job trying to clean all that up all because of a one year old float switch that's crap which is crap anyway cost a lot of stuffing around to get the boat back into order but it will be done has to be because we're going out there again tomorrow 6 a.m. in the morning push that down and there'll be a red light flashing now we're filming and then Basilea, sorry, good morning, this is Basilea, um, just uh, crossing from the Pacific Ocean into the Indian Ocean, through the tip of Sumatra, it's uh, early morning about 6 o'clock, and uh, last year I came through here, some of you would have seen some of the footage, um, but today it's a completely different story, feel good, uh, I've got Glaber over there, some company which is fantastic um, and uh, we're just about to come through the heads now so on that side there just come through that gap in the distance and uh, that's Sumatra mainland and uh, yeah, conditions are nice I'm just hoping that the wind changes a bit and we can shoot down to pull away where we'll stay the night, get some rest. Get, getting closer to the equator and to better weather, more reliable weather. So, and where the surf is. So, very lucky this morning.
little bit, Denny. <laughs> That's Mark. Depends on the card, you can get 32s. <laughs> You're on camera. Say hello. It's actually alright, isn't it? It feels like I'll be able to surf with it. No, you rip your head off, wouldn't it? Yeah, I reckon. Alive? You're on camera. Yeah, it's a neutral, it's the same motor. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Have fun. I'm so glad you were getting you up there. It's really cool. Oh, sorry. Okay, Aaron. Have fun. Go. We're going to a cave. <laughs> yeah, get it. The digging. So where we go? We go to a cave. <laughs> oh no, boy! But anyway. Put fuel in it. 
it empty. Sit out a bit more. Uh-huh. Sit out a bit more. See the line, Aaron? Don't get it in the prop. There's one here. Yeah, right here. Right on neutral. Yep. Yep. Who wants to swim through the ladder? How amazing is this? I'm going to tie onto this. Yeah. Okay. Pull me over there, Aaron. We'll blow onto them. I'm just going to come back, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll go back here. It's okay. Oh, I should have put on that one. That'll do, that's all right. Stick it over that side. Amazing. Oh, no. We should get into bed. So you're the reporter, all right, Namara? This is drama classes, but real drama. Your dad is trying. It looks strong enough, doesn't it? Yeah. If you can hold your dad's weight, it's definitely going to hold yours. But yours? I don't know. Yeah, we will. Oh, look at that. It's a real bird. What the hell? The duck. That's amazing. They're going to eat it. All right, you go first, Namara. I want to go first. All right, you go first, Aaron, whatever. Now watch it because this thing's wood, right, and it's going to hurt the dinghy, so be careful. Here we go. I'll hold you here. Go, 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 go. Like a rattlesnake. You want to go now, Namara? Yeah. Beautifully done. I'm coming too. Oh. 
Jesus. Right out, I'm on. This thing's full of water. <laughs> Okay, well done Namara, easy. Right, ready? Okay, bye goes. Now I'm on the ladder. The cameraman! Oi! How amazing is this? I'm glad we did it. That's incredible. <laughs> so where are we? Where are we? It's amazing. Oh my god, that's incredible. James Tick! Bagus, I mean Inda. Inda Sakali. Inda, Inda, Inda Sakali. Sorry. Yeah, no, I should know that. I know that one. But to me, it is beautiful. Oh my god. Like a Buddha or. That's incredible. Where the sand is. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Not with this. <laughs> I'll film it. Wow. I lost the car, yeah? Like one of nature's... Is this red light still going? Yeah. Oh, and the, and, the wind, wind? and the wind, yeah. It's the ocean, eh? That's why they put the face there. When you get big like swells, it's... Incredible. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. How's the steps, mate? The steps are all amazing. They're all that's incredible. Beautiful. And they're the sparrows. Up a number? Mohammed. Mohammed. Ray. Ray. Nice to meet you. Sidiket uh, Indonesia. Bahasa. Sorry. Bagus. Yeah? Yeah, 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 it's really good. Yeah. Same, same, huh? Yeah. <laughs> same, same. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, they're building some new ladders. I've got to stay out in the light. You get light. No, I'll, I'll get you there. That's incredible. Huh? No, Aaron bought it. Wait, oh, it's on a... Go and jump over and get it. Yeah, go and jump again. Is it waterproof? Yeah. Well, go on. I'll need... Because the camera won't work otherwise. Yeah, then we'll get you on the camera. Jump it in. Huckleberry Finn.
Bagus. Bagus sekali. Terima kasih ya. Okay, Aaron, I got ya. Just jump out. That's a long way. You can do it. Do a swallow dive. Yeah, yeah, do a James Bond, you know. Yeah. Heaps of depth. Or do a bomb. Just a big back, back slapping bomb. Bomb. Because <laughs> you left the torch. <laughs> and you're the one you're the one that spoke about it. You said when we come back can we jump in here? Just a bit of this eye really blocks all the time. Oh yeah. 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 That would get it might work at Christmas time. It's off shore. Yeah. Yeah, it's off shore. Uh, oh yeah. All the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> no, it would have got it. I think I might have got it. No, you wouldn't have But it's actually a really wide angle. Like if, if I'm looking there, I can probably see you there. I can see you now. There's that beach. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder how my trees are growing, Nanny. Kind of trees over there. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Because they don't need to. Oh yeah, in my yes, of course. Isn't that weird, isn't it? There's a huge big village right here. Yeah. Um, no, not huge, but it's yeah. a couple of guys. Say that again. I'm just going to stand back. I won't get you that close, go. Talk to me. Yeah. So this was the wave that um, actually ended up hitting our, our chain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Incredible. Mm. Nobody wants to come back and live here. Well. You can understand why. Yeah. Mm. It's beautiful though, it looks lovely island. Got that high ground up there, Mark. Yeah. Must get incredibly rough in here though. Oh, it does, yeah. But the sea is fine, it's not much swell. Obviously, Yeah. What do these guys do? But they live here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where well, they're here for is the guard, the actual contest. Right. So they stay here for all year round. Especially when the guests are getting ready. Hang on. After uh, Ramadan, when Ramadan's over, it's also the right time as well to take the Right. And it's apparently good for health and prosperity and... I don't know. <laughs> no reason. It's bird spew, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird spew is big to the nest. Yeah. Swallows, it's the same with one of them. So it's a massive part of the world. Yeah. These guys here are full-time security. Looking after that. I've heard it's like uh, good for men to make them virile, and it's like a Give me something a potion. <laughs> You're a Scot, mate. You don't need any. <laughs> but we could eat some and they go to for a holiday. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, feel better. <laughs> All right. I hope that worked.
be good if that worked. You'd be gone. Oh, look at it. I'll do it. Hang on, shine it. So the camera works. That's incredible. How's the wind coming out when the wave comes? So you know that cave mouth we showed you earlier? Yeah. That all connects with this. Really? God. It's massive. It's so old, like, to erode it and... It's brilliant. That's him. Okay. So now we're going into the part of the cave. Aaron is our trusty guide. Remember the camera, mate. We need torch light for the camera. Oh, we don't need anything here. How's that? Wow. That must be like 70 feet, 60, 20 meters, 60 feet, maybe more. When you climb up this uh, area here, when you look at the other side of the island. Really? <laughs> Feels like King Kong was here. Where would you live? Well, oh, there's, pe there's people in there. It's locked up. There's a lock and chain on it. Oh, this is bizarre. So they don't steal the... One of the biggest caves I've ever it is the biggest cave I've ever seen. Incredible. Maybe. Yeah. Be careful though. There's no footprints in it. No way, I reckon it could be quick soon. Why why wouldn't it be? I mean we're sitting on Check it out. Just stay near the rocks, I'll get you. If you get near the rocks, if you fall in, I can... I reckon it is quicksand. Let me film a kid dying, suffocating in quicksand. That would be really good. We'll put it on YouTube. You'll be famous, man. Oh, he died, he's gone. A douche. It's like little insects. It's really soft on your feet. Oh, these, this. Yeah. They don't need much uh, soil. This is huge, Ma. It's the biggest cave I've ever seen. High. How high do you reckon that is? Look at that. What a great photo. So I these together. Yeah. 
Really? 200 feet, shit. Yeah, <laughs> That's where all the uh, nests are. So they, they mustn't have been doing this long, or? No, they did every year. Oh, oh I see. Ah, every three months. Whoops. Good. That's good. Right. So they need to be green to give that right. Bamboo, aren't they? Not amazing. Aaron was here. Oh, they're getting someone to come get the key. So they actually need this bloke. Yeah. They're going to eat otherwise. Well, the guy's locked the door, but he's with him. When he comes back, he'll open the door. Perfect. <laughs> Duck for dinner. But obviously, the guy who's inside there doesn't know we're coming, so he's still doing his job. So, um, nice. That's all right. We're having peak, we're having peaking peaking duck now. We've got fish there. You were saying? Crash trying to find that one out. Yeah. Can you imagine though being here and imagine that wave coming in here? Good thinking. Bagos. Right. I can imagine feeling this move. They would have seen the water. 
And then watching the wave hit the land and all your families and James Bond, Huckleberry Finn. That's got to be what, thirty feet, forty feet? Yeah. If you do a belly whack, I find out what it feels like. Yep, go. Beautiful. Like a pin.
Hi everybody, I uh, hope Ray's not going to tell you some bullshit that he's in paradise or something. There's midges, mosquitoes that give you malaria. The biggest to surf get is four foot here. Stinking villages over there with rotten fish on the beach. It is shit. <laughs> Do not come here. Stay yeah, where you are in Australia. Enjoy your BMWs, your cafe lattes. It's a better world where you are. Don't listen to Ray. He's full of shit. Ah! Ah! Oh. Well, Rachel's going to get oh, there. Here I think I've got malaria just now. <laughs> that was Mark. Here comes the air regard. I mean, the lighting is fantastic. Oh, I just got bit. Ow, 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 ow. Now, do you believe me? I should have the tripod out. Slaver. Sitting there waiting for passengers. And does lay out. Does lay his dinghy. And the hurry they are getting me. Ow, ow. Oh yeah, and another thing, they don't even sell beer here. We had to bring this with us. What are you drinking? San Miguel, and it's oh. not from here. <laughs> this comes from good places where you can buy cafe lattes. <laughs> not a beer, even if you had a hundred dollars, you couldn't buy one beer. So the trick is to remember to bring your own. Just don't come, it's not worth it. <laughs> Beautiful lot. Beautiful birds. They mm. come in like big people. Yeah, we think they're quills. Okay, they're coming in yeah. every night. Uh, we're, We're just waiting for the sun to come out. Quails form in magical patterns up in the sky like spirits. Oh, so and then oh. land just above our heads. And I'm gonna I'm gonna film them actually picking on Aaron's head as they land <laughs> and take his glasses. <laughs> 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 You're gonna fly over his head. They might bash into my tummy, I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> you have to play chicken. You're gonna sit in the front mark and take the first impact. We're about to be bombed by I'm not going to move, I'm not going to move, I'm not going to move. We can all fall the wall. Like, join hands. I'm not joining hands to This is truly remarkable if it happens to be able to film it. So we're, f we're filming a flock of quails that are a couple of miles away and they're gathering into a formation that they'll hopefully fly in our direction to where we're sitting and we're going to watch them actually land into these trees up above us. I'll just show you the trees. They're right up there behind this hill. And they're gradually getting closer. This is the first flock. Are they being chased? And there's a couple of small ones in here. Watch the main one. And here they come. Whoa. 
and they're off into the trees. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Been hit by one. Hit. You're kidding, he has two. Oh my end. god. One ran into him. It's okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm handling it. But I did get oh, hit. Wow. Be and careful. And is any bird shit on you? No. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's what it is, it's bud shit. Oh it's bird shit. Yeah, so this watch your a, lens. This is a ground controller for their landing. Aaron, introduce yourself. What's your name? <laughs> so he's actually guiding in these hey, these quails. Uh oh, I'm getting caught. Oh, here they come. Wow. Yeah, we got to camouflage. You're right. Can you stand on the water? Stand on the water? Whoa! Look at that car. 